August 13, 1985, Mount Osutaka, Japan. This is the wreckage from the deadliest single plane disaster in aviation history. The crash of JAL-123 and the loss of 520 passengers and crew. Four people survived. Because the 747 was built in the United States, the National Transportation Safety Board joins the investigation. Soon after the crash, experts get a helping hand from an amateur photographer. He managed to take a picture of the 747 minutes before it crashed. The picture reveals that JAL Flight 123 was flying without its massive tail fin. The tail fin houses critical control surfaces like the rudder as well as tubes that carry the hydraulic fluids. What force could be strong enough to tear off the tail fin? That would explain everything why it didn't. Digging through the 747's maintenance history, investigators discover that seven years earlier, the jet had landed with its nose too high. The tail hit the ground and scraped along the runway. The rear part of the plane had to be repaired, including the pressure bulkhead. Japan Airlines called in Boeing technicians to help repair the cracked bulkhead. After this unscheduled maintenance, the 747 was given a clean bill of health and flew for another seven years. Now, the pressure bulkhead becomes a prime suspect for investigators. They find a piece of the panel that had been spliced into the bulkhead seven years earlier. It shows a fault in the bulkhead repair. The repair had, in fact, not been done correctly. There was only one row of rivets holding that joint together, uh, where there should have been uh, two rows of rivets holding the joint together. With a single row of rivets holding the new panel in place, this was a disaster waiting to happen, especially for such a busy jet. Investigators calculate that with the repair job, the bulkhead would survive approximately 10,000 flights or cycles. But on the day of the crash, the 747 had already racked up over 12,000 flights. On 747s, the cabin is pressurized, but the tail is not. During flight, the pressurized air presses against the tail bulkhead. Over the course of some 12,000 flights, this pressure stretched the faulty repair to the breaking point. Then, the cabin's pressurized air blasted into the hollow tail fin and blew it off. The loss of the tail crippled the plane's hydraulic systems. For some 30 minutes, the crew tried to fly their 747 using only thrust. This is like trying to drive a car using only the accelerator. No steering wheel, no brakes. Despite their heroic efforts, it was a losing battle. 